Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Haley. I am a mom of four. We're in our fourth year of homeschooling. In today's video, I'm sharing with you our upcoming history. In the past few years, we tried a couple of history curriculums that wasn't working for us. So this year, I think I found the one. Um, both my kids had sneak peeks and kind of looked through it and skimmed through it and they already were interested in the topics. So hopefully that is a good sign for upcoming school year. In this video, I am going to share with you what we bought and how I plan on using it and just like a mini flip through of the history. Whenever I was researching this history, um, I didn't find any videos of this specific era on this specific um, company. Now I did see like the other eras like the modern or the medieval times and even though that was a very good um, sneak peek I kind of wanted the specific ancient era that we will be learning so hopefully this video kind of helps you out the company does share a I think two or three week samples of each of the resources that was helpful as well but kind of me explaining it and sharing it with you here hopefully helps you if you're looking into this specific curriculum and era Without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're using Biblio Plans History. Um, this is a world in biblical history from, eh, from creation to the fall of Rome. This is the lesson plan and book list for the 34 week. It's a literature based study of ancient history. This is for grades K through 12. So I'm going to go ahead and um, show you what's inside, how I'm going to use this, the supplemental materials that I bought, and yeah. So when you first open up, I'm not going to show you everything because um, they do give you a two week sample on all their materials that you can purchase and I don't want to get copyrighted, but I just want to show you what's inside the ancient history because whenever I was looking on YouTube for this specific um, time period from this specific company, they didn't have it. So I just want to go ahead and show you it. Like I said, I don't want to get copyrighted, but they do have a two-week sample. But I'm just going to show you this, explain a few things, um, and show you how we are using it for this upcoming school year. They have 34 chapters or 34 weeks of lesson learning plans. Um, this just shows you how to use it. They say don't overdo it. You don't have to do all their optionals. Um, books like I have here. This just shows you a scope and sequence for all four years. We are currently going to start with year one. Then they have the materials, which is the family guide. That's what I'm showing you right here. And then they have Remember the Days and Consider the Years. Those are the two textbooks that can go along with Ancients. Remember the Days are for a K through 7th. And Consider the Years are for grades 8 through 12. This is Remember the Days, History for Junior Readers. I got this one because I have a... I will have a 2nd and 5th grader, so that's why we got Remember the Days. Um, they have a discussion guide where you can review materials for that previous chapter. I did not get this. Then they have supplemental biblio plan materials. They have cool histories, cool histories for littles, grades K through 2. Um, now, I will be purchasing cool history for littles K through 2. 
Um, it is just questions based on materials that are in the textbook. Um, we're going to start off with this one, even though my son is in like the fourth, fifth grade. We're going to start off with this one, just because this is our first year of actually starting history. They have hands-on maps. I did I did purchase hands-on maps for middles, which is for grades two through eight. Um, I got this one personally because I want to start adding geography and specific maps where we can learn. Then they have timelines. I purchased the timeline as well. Here, it goes over the years. And then in the back of the book, you have to cut out and glue each little picture. It has the years. It has biblical history and world history. Hands-on history, which is crafts, foods you can make, games, etc. We did not purchase this one. We have coloring through history. I bought that. Um, I think you can buy it as a PDF, uh, like a downloadable ebook. Um, I think I might purchase another one. Moving along, they have hands-on notebooking. Um, they have giants of faith for ancient states, presidents, Asia, Europe, Americas, and Oceania, Africa. Um, I did not purchase these, even though these do look interesting. You can go see on the sample on their website. But being it's our first year of history, I didn't want to overdo us. So that's why I didn't purchase this one. Then it says getting started, how to get started. And it says choose your optional spine or spine, which is remember the days or consider the history, just depending on your kids' grade level. Hard spines and then optional spines. Um, <clears throat> I am going to be looking into this one because you can use it for all four years. So we're so I might purchase this one and story of the world. Now they have a lot more you can look through, but I'm just showing you about our plans. Um, they do have other ones I might consider, but story of the world is on the top list. They have a whole bunch of resources, scheduled book list. Let me just go ahead and flip all the way to week one because this is something you can um, look at. Okay. This is week one. We will be learning about creation and early civilizations. Um, it has a weekly topic, we learning creation and the fall of mankind. Now, this will be our first year using history and science. Um, my kids are getting older, so I wanted to add that into our homeschool um, weekly plans. And whenever I was, I was considering using homes, I was considering doing history three days a week and science two days a week. So whenever I found this, I was in love and it made me love Biblio Plan even more. So I'm just gonna talk about this. Um, these little dots are for me. Your readings, you have remember the days or consider the years. Um, this is if you have the old version. So you can go ahead and cross these out because we're not reading these, we're doing remember the days. Day one is what was ancient era and the biblical history in the beginning. 
I'm just going to go ahead and show you these two and what you're reading and how long the pages are. Here's what you start off as the lesson. What was the ancient era? So it's this page, this page, and then here we have in the beginning. And then you read this, read this, stop. Because the Garden of Eden, if I'm not mistaken, is day two. Yep, day two. So it was like three pages. So we can cross this out. We don't need that. We have a... Next, we have Biblio Plans Hands-On Supplements. Now, on day one, you can color through ancient history, hands-on Asia, and the discussion guide. We don't have these two. We just have coloring through Asia. Day two, we will talk about timeline features, figures, sorry. We don't have these two. Day three, we have... I need to order cool history questions. Um, that was something I needed to order, but we will do that on day three. As well as hands-on maps. We don't have these two, so that's nothing. They do offer a Bible reading, but I did purchase a Bible reading. So if it lines up with this, we will read it, and if not, it's fine. Well, these are the two books I was considering buying. So we would just read those or look at the pages. And then these were the optional readers, spines. So you can cross this out. And really, it's not that much you're going to be doing. It's just a lot of information for your family if you have different grade levels. This is literature readings. We will not be doing these. Then I looked into the read alouds. Um, the arc, the read in the far cloud, you would read one chapter out of the six. Um, this is writing ideas. I will have a first, second grader so she can co do copy work. And then my fourth, fifth grader will be doing the journal entry and not these. Then it says Biblio plans, hands on activities, what they have on their website you can purchase. So we don't have hands on asia we have the maps we don't have giant of faith um we will do cool history questions because we don't have the discussion guide we have timeline figures and coloring and it tells you what to color now the hands on ancient history we don't have we didn't purchase this but i was looking at it and it says where did i see it Oh, it says family tree, and I thought we could have made like our own family tree without using the um, guide. So if you want to do any of these, um, just go ahead and do it. If not, you can omit it. Then they have optional reading ideas and other resources. Um, we don't do these cards. If you want to listen to audios, they have movie ideas, more books you can read more books you can read and then they have hands-on fun they have artistic pursuits volume two pennant maps all these i will be purchasing this one that's why i have it marked then they have the same layout for week two all throughout the book Okay, guys, I forgot to show you this. Um, they have, okay, for unit one, weeks one through six, this is memory work, okay? Um, they give you Bible option verses to remember, and it lists them. And then it gives you other options for you to remember. So I'm just going to mark off like a few on these pages for my kids to remember. You see then week one. So this was pretty cool. You have weeks one through six and memory work. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this flip through and maybe consider Biblio plan for this year or a couple of years for your history in your homeschool. Subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Instagram. I wanna grow on Instagram and YouTube like this video comment down below if you thought this was
pretty cool curriculum. I think I will enjoy it. Uh, bye guys.